this lesson starts with the framing of an investigation using an artifact, which was from the Smithsonian, and students had an opportunity to look closely at the object using a thinking routine that we call See, Think, Wonder. We decided to use a See, Think, Wonder because it's a thinking routine that gives opportunities for observation, for interpretation, of course promoting wondering, curiosity, but then also making connections to background knowledge. And one of the most important parts of an artifact investigation is spending a lot of time looking closely at it. Slowing down and just really noticing some of the details or the nuances to the artifact. Let's be precise, how many horizontal lines? Maybe that has something to do with position. Did you notice that? Seven. Seven horizontal lines. I love it. You wrote old and torn. Okay. If it's old, what makes you think it's old? Okay, so maybe you want to add that to the description. You said it doesn't matter. What, what does that mean? Why it doesn't, doesn't it matter? It doesn't matter if you spin it because you can still see the symbols. Well, what does that mean to you? You'll notice that we give students sustained, quiet time and really push what push them to make close, careful observations. So tell me exactly what do you see? We're not interpreting it yet. So you have a lot of, you have a big theory already, so maybe you want to put that here. So I'm wondering, specifically, what makes you say that it's something American Indians might use? We're usually in nature and there's lots of stuff that they could have saw in nature. Hmm. Like what? Like, um, like that. Mm -hmm. What do you think that might be? We want to put out the widest net right now. You're working as a team and we're going to share these with our smaller groups before we come back to the whole group. It might be best if all of you are looking at every possibility right now Let's that we can make find. some of those connections. I know you've been excited to do this. There's this man with dots right here. Okay. And what do you think about that? I think he might have smallpox, which is a deadly disease back then that okay. Europeans brought to America. Okay. Because he, because you're like Europeans, which probably which look like this. Okay. Um, brought like new germs and stuff. Okay. So you're thinking the man in the middle has smallpox. So really, the wondering is probably my favorite part of all of this because it just allows students to really think about what they saw, make those theories, but then dig deeper. Or who used it? Are there any other clues? Chelsea didn't get a chance yet. Um, it kind of looks like, you know when there's like somebody extraordinary and people will come looking for it if they heard about it? Mm -hmm. It looks like this oh, kind of looks like a cheetah person or something. Oh. And all the people around. Oh yeah, like the animals. Or animals are staring at it. Author yeah. slash illustrator. Might this, made, um, just might this be made a long time ago? And oh, so you're asking not just who, We're but oh, when. When? Yeah, that's what I have. I have uh, who made it and how long ago did they make it. We debated. We went from ancient Egypt, but we also thought American Indian. But then Evelyn said, what if this is telling the story about when American Indians met another culture? We didn't know what they were going to come up with, and I think they came up with things that I didn't think of, and that was really cool. Is it okay to change your ideas on something with the introduction of new evidence? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That changed the way we all looked at it and thought about it. Being open to new ideas is part of being flexible, flexible thinker and innovator.